let's go! Okay, okay... Okay! This came a lot faster than anticipated. This was supposed to be delivered on Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. So, belated happy Labor Day to everybody. Let's see how these fit. For those of you who have been following along my shoe journey, you know I settled on the Topo Athletic Ultra Adventure Pros, and I ordered those, and those were too small. I felt that they were too small. Paper, receipts, and the same old shoe, as ugly as it was last time. Last time I ordered a nine and a half, these are tens and uh, they're like untied like were these worn before you know like like it looks like someone had their foot in these i think a lot of the times these kinds of stores don't necessarily warehouse things anymore i work for fedex i know some things but nowadays big companies companies like famous footwear rei things like that they actually use stores they actually use stores as their what is happening with this? What is that about? Look at that. What kind of jacked up foolery is this? Stores and their warehouse, that the stock that they have on the back of the stores, that's actually the warehouse. And a lot of times they ship right from a store. So I'm willing to bet that these were at some local store somewhere that happened to have the size 10 in stock. So REI searched for whoever had it in stock and they shipped it right from that store. I'm willing to bet that's what happened. So, is there an REI in Sumner, Washington? If there is, that's where these probably came from. Okay, those are tight. Just the laces are tight. There we go, some fat foot room. They're not tight, they're not snug. They feel pretty good. I leave in a few days for a giant trip in South America and these shoes I just got. So you know what that means? Time to put some miles on them. So I'm very fortunate to live in a state and a city with hiking opportunities readily available. This is a little park right off a main road called Nine Mile Creek. And once you get down into Nine Mile Creek, it's like you're in the middle of nowhere even though you're in the middle of the city. And this is a great testing ground for shoes. Down along Nine Mile Creek now, there's the bridge that I parked right next to. And there's Nine Mile Creek. I wanna make it very clear that with this whole shoe saga that I've been through, I didn't take those shoes and wear them all over the place like down here and then return them that's not what i did those shoes i tried them on walked around the living room for five minutes and found out pretty quickly that those were not the shoes these feel like the shoes which is why i'm down here you know in the testing grounds this is a great area to hike and you can see it's like you're in the middle of nowhere but like my i, I live in the city like my place is right over there there's deer down here. That creek is awesome. A lot of kids come down here and go swimming. It's really sweet in the winter time. It's a good resource. I'm glad to have it. I'm gonna get a couple of miles in today, nothing crazy. So these are just a little loose. I get a little bit of wiggle room in there so I'm just gonna tighten up the laces get a more snug fit then everyone should be happy two miles down the shoes are feeling really good my arches are just a little sore I think uh, because as soon as I put them on I started charging you know, at about three, four miles an hour down the trail. So I gotta back it off. When I back it off to about two miles an hour, it's fine. New shoes, new feet. Welcome, nice to meet you. I have been guilty of buying new shoes and then going right on a trip. 
you know, no experience, no braking period, just did it. Most of the time, that's a mistake. With the trip I'm going on, the mileage isn't huge. This is nothing I haven't done before. But the fact that I'm going to be somewhere out where I just can't get replacement shoes. So breaking them in, in this manner, is something that you want to do. So don't make the mistake of buying new trail shoes, running shoes, hiking boots, anything like that before you test them out and break them in. Another cool part about living where I live, I'm on a like a bike hike trail right here. And I think this is also a service road for like city workers. But there is a single track mountain bike, eh, aggressive gravel bike trail right here. You can see the single track. And there's even sections where you gotta like pull yourself across a barge, all kinds of really cool things. Minnesota River is right there. So I live in just a fantastic area. So that's the day hike for today. Just about five miles breaking these shoes. I get a little exercise while I'm at it. Just a cool little area. So as far as travel goes, for those of you who don't know, I leave for Peru in just a few days and I'm hiking the Inca Trail. It's 26 miles to Machu Picchu. I'm also doing the Rainbow Mountain hike. So just some cool stuff down in Peru. And I'll be documenting that. I'm even gonna do loadouts and travel tips for that. So if you wanna know about Peru and international travel, you wanna pick up some tips, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those videos when they come out. That, that's all I got to say about that. So let's, uh, let's move on to the next scene. Cut, next, next scene. A couple quick notes while I wrap up this day hike. For one, thank you. Thanks for supporting the channel and by watching my videos. That's the best way to support me, is simply watch the videos. And if you subscribe and hit that little bell thing, it'll just give you a notification every time one of my video drops. So do that if you want to. And better yet, if you want to contact me directly, you can always email me, rpelton1yt at gmail.com. And I want to throw this out there for my, my subscribers, even the international ones. I'm looking for trail and camp desserts, something cool and something different. So what do you have access to that I might not hear in my part of the country or in my part of the world? I'm looking for desserts, chocolate bars, candies. So if you feel like sending me that kind of stuff, that would be awesome. I would love to experience desserts and snacks from other countries and other areas. So hit me up. I'd love to see what you got. All right, I'm out of here. No more talking about snacks. I still got a little bit of walking to do. We'll see you on trail, thanks.